Bereshith 17. And it came to be when Abram was 99 years old that Yahuwah appeared to Abram and said to him, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be perfect. And I give my covenant between me and you, and shall greatly increase you. And Abram fell on his face, and Elohim spoke with him, saying, As for me, look, my covenant is with you, and you shall become a father of many nations. And no longer is your name called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, because I shall make you a father of many nations. And I shall make you bear fruit exceedingly, and make nations of you, and sovereigns shall come from you. And I shall establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be Elohim to you and your seed after you. And I shall give to you and your seed after you the land of your sojournings, all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession. And I shall be their Elohim. And Elohim said to Abraham, As for you, guard my covenant, you and your seed after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant which you guard between me and you, and your seed after you. Every male child among you is to be circumcised, and you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall become a sign of the covenant between me and you. And a son of eight days is circumcised by you, every male child in your generations. He who is born in your house or bought with silver from any foreigner who is not of your seed. He who is born in your house and he who is bought with your silver has to be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And an uncircumcised male child who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, his life shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. And Elohim said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, do not call her name Sarai, for Sarah is her name. And I shall barak her and also give you a son by her, and I shall barak her. And she shall become nations, sovereigns of people are to be from her. And Abraham fell on his face, and laughed, and said in his heart, Is a child born to a man who is a hundred years old, or is Sarah, who is ninety years old, to bear a child? And Abraham said to Elohim, O oh, let Yishmael live before you. And Elohim said, No, Sarah your wife is truly bearing a son to you, and you shall call his name Yitshak, and I shall establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Yishmael, I have heard you. See, I shall barak him, and shall make him bear fruit, and greatly increase him. He is to bring forth twelve princes, and I shall make him a great nation. But my covenant I establish with Yitzhak, whom Sarah is to bear to you at this appointed time next year. And when he had ended speaking with him, Elohim went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Yishmael his son, and all those born in his house, and all those bought with his silver, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskins that same day, as Elohim told him. And Abraham was ninety-nine years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Yishmael his son was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Abraham and his son Yishmael were circumcised that same day. And all the men of his house, born in the house or bought with silver from a foreigner, were circumcised with him.